Simply put, this is a very fun movie to watch. Like this is the kind of movie where at the end you think, well, I had a really fun time watching this movie, but I probably will never watch this movie again, but it's also not a waste of time. So just simple funny. If you tired of movies that want to teach you something or have some sort of message or morals or any of this, watch this movie. This is just simply fun. Nobody in this movie takes itself too seriously, like they really revel in the absurdity of it all. Especially Nick Cage, who is in full on meme mode in this movie. And the main character, Renfield, is very entertaining. He's sort of between the actual character and sort of the guy who tells the story and can't really understand what is happening. It's like when you read about this movie and then you go, no, that can't be happening, that's too silly. And the character is like this in the movie, like he finds the whole situation sometimes silly in and of itself. It's really fun. Also really in interesting is the son of the crime boss, played by Ben Schwartz, which I didn't know before, but I know now is the guy who portrays Sonic in the new movie. So that's kind of funny. He is kind of a useless mafiosi, but also very funny, like he's the same that things happening. And then after things happening, he realized that all oh, doesn't make any sense and he shows this, which is just entertaining to watch. The two people that are kind of bad in quotation marks are the mother of the set wannabe gangster. Basically because she has like a voice like she smokes like a hundred cigarettes an hour, which isn't really Yeah, forward, I hope, I don't know, but it's kind of, it's like the one thing that isn't acting probably, but it's kind of over the top, so it doesn't really fit, it's like, I don't know, it doesn't, doesn't really fit the movie end, and I had to look up how to pronounce her name, and I hope this is right, Aquafina, which is like an artist's name, she's basically the standout worst character in the movie, while well, Aquafina is the actress, not the character, but I only saw her in Shang-Chi and there she was really annoying. And in this movie, she's basically the same character, just dialed down a bit. So I fear like she's a bit like Jason Momoa, where he basically always plays the same character, just on different levels. So she doesn't really fit into the movie and everything. I don't know, she kind of stands out awkwardly. Um, it seems a bit like she's the one person who tries to make this a serious movie, which it isn't, and everybody else is just having a good time. But she's not so bad that it's really annoying or, out, or stands out, but it's you recognize the one actor who thinks this is a serious movie. It doesn't mean that it's not a good movie, you know, serious and good are not the same, but it is not a serious movie. Overall, this is uncomplicated fun. You could say it's maybe a bit too cheap and I would understand that. The jokes are not something deep, something clever, something mind blowing. It's just funny, but it's also not too cheap. Like you have these comedies that come out every year who do the same cheap zo jokes. This is not this, like basically there are no actual jokes, it's more like gags, a bit of slapstick, a bit of entertaining, it's just a fun movie to watch. If you want to have a good time, you should watch this movie. This is also a pretty much a good movie day to watch, I don't know, at home, when you have uh, some drinks with a couple of friends just to have something to laugh. It's just a fun time movie, so for this one. I would recommend everyone watching it.